Hi, my name is Stephen Forbes, also known as Tech Steve. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can actually test an ISO image without burning it to a CD. <coughs> Sorry. Um, recently I've downloaded a copy of Windows XP Professional Service Pack 2. Service Pack 2. Um, sorry. Um, so I'm going to just show you how you can actually run the ISO CD. Now, what the term ISO mean? The term ISO actually means International Standardization for Organization, which is actually an image, or an image rather, of a CD. Now, a lot of people have asked me how do I download a copy of Windows XP. It's very easy. All you have to do is go to a torrent website such as um, the Pirate Bay, Mininova, BitTorrent, the, the torrent extractor, any one of them. Type in Windows XP Professional Service Pack 2. Download it just as normal. Once you've burned it, download the torrent. You have to burn the image to a CD using a program either you can use a shampoo, burning studio, you can use image burn, you can use um programs that can burn images like even Nero. Now today I'm gonna just show you how you can run a live ISO image without burning it to the C D or D V D, which is very cool. Chances are when I did have this program, I wasted a lot of blanks and trust me, it was very painful headache to waste so many DVDs and CDs. Thanks to Raymond from RaymondBlog.cc who invented this program and invented the blog for helping us to develop this program to test our ISO image without burning it to the CD. This program that I'm going to show you is known as Mobile Live CD which you can also download from a Google search as well. Google, this is um, the version that we needed, Mobile Live CD. I'm going to open it now on the desktop. Okay, here's the interface. So it's uh, welcome to the Mobile Live CD. This program allows you to test your boot of a CD-ROM. So you can either associate this program to the right-click menu of ISO image files. You can directly run live CDs, ISO images. So I'm going to click Run Live CD. I've downloaded the Windows XP Service Pack 2, so I'm just going to test it to see if it's working. So I'm going to select that and click Open. So we should wait just a minute and let it do its thing. Okay, installing the drivers. It's a black screen. Actually, the CD that's how it's going to look when you're actually booting the CD from a man prompt or from DAS. Okay, so here is it coming up now. Just as I install in Windows XP. So right away, I know that this CD is working. So I can just burn it to the CD. And that's it. I know it's working. And I can carry it with me in my pouch and repair Windows. Reinstall Windows XP at any time. Somebody wants me to reinstall Windows and so forth so just wait it's a bit takes a while so it's loading in memory so my memory is about a gig a gig and a half so just wait Okay, here is it now. Just as we're setting up from the CD, press F6 if you need to install a RAID or a third party driver, just as normal. So it's working. So I can just burn this to my CD using a shampoo burning studio version number 7, and I'm good to go. Trust me, this tool saves a lot of time because sometimes I've downloaded an ISO image and it's not that good it has a lot of glitches and it doesn't work properly and therefore you have to just waste all your blanks and you keep burning and it doesn't seem any sense of reaching anywhere but this program known as the mobile live cd saves a lot of time and let us know where we are going right good okay so that's it for today this is how you can actually test your ISO image and I, plea I hope that you learn something, I hope that you grasp something, I hope that you have observed something and thank you for watching. Bye.